Oh, <laughs> hello, people. My name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what this? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So, people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So, download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. Hey, but yeah, Mahama media, text us. You drew her very soon. We will conquer everywhere. Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send. It's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> Some may take it serious, just as it is with people at every point in time when issues happen. Some people take it so serious, and there are others who also take it as one of those things in life. They see it like, okay, this is one of those things. Definitely, it will pass and go. And when it passes and it goes, that will be the end of it, and nothing really will happen. There are others who might not even know the real situation or position of the story and the people involved. That is why, as much as we have life, as much as we have platforms, when some of these things happen, the best you can do is to also show up and uh, tell the world what you know. Let them know, indeed, this is what you believe in and this is your position, your stance on it. Then after... Those who would want to take it will take it. Those who don't want to take it, even if you dump it into their stomach or even into their heads, they are still not going to take it. You leave it there, you move on, chest high, feeling satisfied that at least you did not cause any harm to the world, but you did what you were supposed to do. I'm about to talk about Samini and Chatawale on Twitter and the fact that Sami Flex has been mentioned by countless people, not only by Samini, by countless people on social media. Many people who are following this conversation are thinking or they've been made to believe that there is a certain Sami Flex behind some tweets and some post by Chatawale. And I'm, I'm, I'm not too shy talking about it. I keep saying that when it comes to my job, I do it with all the passion, with all the honesty, with all the energy in me without looking back because I'm not committing any crime. I'm not doing anything legal, illegal. I'm just working and that is what I'm supposed to do to make ends meet. That is what I'm doing and nothing else. Welcome to this editorial on the Play Ghana agenda that is being pushed by a section of um, our industry folks. And again, the counter reaction from other people who are also following this conversation. I welcome you to this editorial. Remember, Digital Rasta, who is also called Currency, is doing camera for this work. And Richie Flex is the editor director of the show. You are the other side. I know you have been one of our fantastic consumers, making sure that anytime you put out a content, at least you are here to also savor it. You are here to also enjoy it. And thanks for sharing it to the world. Thanks for telling the world about it. We so much appreciate you. Top Top Send is also here. They are a proud sponsor or supporter of this platform here on Summit Flex TV. And I want everybody to know that here, whatever we believe in is what we preach. 
So if you are a believer of sending money from abroad to Ghana, you don't have to stress. Just get the app Tap Tap Send downloaded on your phone. Remember to use the key details that you use to register the app and to register the transfer app. Then after, you use the promo code SAMIFLEX. With the promo code SAMIFLEX, you are sure going to get some extra money into your wallet. This one, if you don't like this, then I wonder what else you are going to like. Remember, you have to get it today and forever. Tap, tap, send. That is the best so far. So right after the press launch at the Ministry of Information, where the president's daughter, Jan Kroma, Akufu Addo, Akre Kumante, Honorable, Samini, some other musicians, Black Sheriff and Small God, and other stakeholders were called to discuss the Play Ghana agenda. The matter does not seem to be resting, even as we speak. At every point in time, different angles and new angles come out. And even as it stands now, we are still dealing with some of these angles coming up here and there. As it stands now, we are still dealing with some of these angles coming up here and there. And one that I'm going to pay attention to critically in this editorial is the one between Shatawale and Samini. Now, the other day, I was granting an interview to Class FM on their drive time show. And the presenter asked me, shout out to Yao. Um, he was asking me that, Sami, so is Shata saying something different from what the proponents of the Play Ghana agenda are saying? I said, no. Shatawala is not saying anything different. Shatawala rather even wants the world to know that, oh, this thing or this agenda that you are pushing, this is not the only time that this has come up. That even him as an artist, there was a time that he also spoke about it. There was a time that he also mentioned it. There was a time that he also thought that it is right for Ghanaians to consider their sound a priority over other people. That is why in his state of the industry address, he even proposed a 90-10 over the foreign countries. Where he said, oh, well, let's enjoy 90% play here in Ghana. Then we can share the 10% with the rest of the world. And that was his suggestion. So today... If someone comes up with it, it is not as if Shatter is against it. What Shatter is rather saying is that in pushing this agenda, have you also thought about the other people in the value chain? Have you also considered the other people in the ecosystem? I'm sure that is what Shatawale is saying that, okay, how about the DJ? We want the DJ to play 100% Ghana songs. Is the DJ okay? Is the DJ satisfied? Is the DJ going to do this without getting any enticement from anybody else that will make him do otherwise? Is the DJ going to admit to this? The radio stations and the TV stations, if they are supposed to go this way, looking at their business, will they be fine? This is what Shatawale is calling that. In going this way, we have to look around it. Let's look for that approach where everybody else would also be satisfied. I'm sure at the time that he said this, maybe he also had all these things in mind. So it's not as if he's against them. He's not against them. And when conversation started, we know how far this kind of conversation is going to, including the fact that some uh, people in Nigeria are even trying a blacklist or a cancel on Black Sheriff because they saw Black Sheriff as part of the leaders of that particular movement. And to them, they are quite disappointed because they know Black Sheriff has been with them. They know Black Sheriff has enjoyed their support, their numbers and all that. So if today... After enjoying all the support from them, he comes out to lead such a project or such a protest. Then it comes out as disappointment to them. That has also been discussed. Then it comes back to Samini and Shatawale. Where one day, I'm sure I can take my time, go through these tweets, then we can uh, make meaning out of it. So Shatawale's tweet here reads, I just woke up to tell you, you can't fight foreign music. The 10% music will overshadow the whole Ghana. Country with so much jealousy when it's not them on the front line. You see how poverty they worry your artists with nonsense suggestion? It is poverty, man, guy. I'm sure when Shatawale made this tweet, other people did not take it cool, including Samini himself. So Samini also responded to this tweet, quoted it and responded and said, Bro, LOL. Ghana has become a spotlight over the last few years, and this is not ending anytime soon. What is wrong with creatives appealing for more local content on our airwaves? Who does this hit? So if it is not your suggestion, then it is nonsense, eh? 
LOL. Shut up, I beg. Hashtag Samini Experience. Hashtag Play Ghana. Then, Shatter comes again with this. And he says, My legend, you just have to know we are too grown now to bullshit the agenda. Nothing is wrong if creatives are on that path. But the question is, do the creative themselves play their roles well to make these DJs play your songs? Big no. Why? Don't pretend like you don't know the problem. You do. That's why today they don't even listen to the great Samini when he talks. I'm not here to rubbish your efforts. Neither do I want my ways to be accepted. But there is a big problem, my legend, and you know it. I say this with a good heart. Love. And he brought the love emoji. Then once again, Samini comes again and he says, All the grammar from you of all people won't make me change my stance. Hashtag play Ghana, just like we've always advocated for. You actually had an address to the nation stating these facts. My submission did not deny the fact that it is not a new call. Individuals have shared sentiments, but together we are louder, bro. You are a legend in your own right. Time to play Ghana in Ghana for who visit Ghana to take Ghana back with them. This one to you say Mukoho, LOL, hey bandana. Hmm. <laughs> I love to hear somebody say, hey bandana. <laughs> then I'm sure Shatawale was just taking it cool until. Um, Samini came up with another, oh well, Shata, Shata came up with another tweet where he says, Niger people, a halo, you guys make Ghana, Ghana music turn like classroom. And I'm sure that was when Samini started losing his canons. And he said, last, last, at Sami Flex TV. By the way, that is not my personal handle though. Um, that is Sami Flex TV, Richie Flex office, he handles that. Um, mine is Samba Flex or Sami Bar Flex, you can check it out later. It says, last, last, as Sami Flex still they hold the phone, I guess I'll wait for the real Shatawale post so I can respond accordingly. The legend, legend matter all be from food, Charlie. LOL, PR Mupro Max, pa 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 pa. And then, I'm sure that was when Shata came and said, um, Niger people are hello, you guys make Ghana music. And somebody said, welcome back, bro. You finally got your phone back. I hear say you make them kwashe Sami Flex before he released the phone. Still, hashtag play Ghana. And hashtag pray for Sami Flex. <laughs> In fact, at that time, the hashtag pray for Sami Flex was what got me. Like, pray for Sami Flex for doing what exactly. Now, I want to make this simple. I'm not part of this, honestly. Before God the man, I'm never part of these back and forth on Twitter. I don't handle Shatawale's Twitter account at the moment. Maybe in the future I can handle it. But at the moment, I don't handle it. At the moment, I don't handle any of Shatawale's social media accounts. It is not part of my duties or my responsibilities as we speak. Like I'm saying, it will not be surprising that one day, I'll be handling some of this. But for now, as much as he's still active, he's still knowledgeable, he's still strong, and he can read and write, he is handling all these things, if you ask me. So, um, apart from Samini and a couple of people who are writing this and that online, that, oh, Sami Flex might be doing that, Sami Flex might be, I just want to seize this opportunity to say that this conversation about play Ghana, play Ghana, play Ghana, personally, as Sami Flex, I have my own ideology to it i have my own understanding to it i know how difficult it will be at this stage to limit people in the kind of sounds they listen is listening to a song on their phone especially when everybody is paying attention to whatever they are listening to on their phone how would you limit them and to the djs and the broadcast houses even when they are playing their songs they still want to satisfy what the masses are listening to and they know what songs the masses are listening to they know what songs are topping the charts so hardly would you do that. But even with that, I still think that if your song is good, it will still be able to get the necessary responses that it is supposed to get. And that has been my position. So why would I be a part of this? Shatawale respects Samini. Nobody should joke with that. Forget about what has happened in the past. In recent times, my conversations with him, he tells me his respect and value for Samini. He tells me so many things that he wants to do with Samini. He tells me so many things, positive and good things about Samini. And sometimes he feels Samini did not get 
the plan from scratch. That is what he feels sometimes. He feels that Sanim, Samini missed the, the plot from the beginning. Maybe that is how it ended them the way they are. But even now, they are not enemies. Even now, I'm sure from time to time when they meet, or even if it becomes necessary, they can pick a phone or two to call one another. They are not enemies. So to fans who are behind the scenes and might think that, oh, Samini and Shatole, they are in some serious bro, they are not. It is part of the culture. But what I really want to say is that those tweets, those posts, none is from me. It is Shatawale himself who knows what he's doing. Shatawale himself who knows the value he places on, Shat on Samini. Therefore, he knows how to address him. And I, th I think it is high time people get to know Shatawale's two sides. Shatawale has the calm side and he has the very hot side at every point in time based on how you want to deal with it. That is what you would get. He is always calm. And I pray that we get to understand this. This is not Sami Flex. I know nothing about this. So for Samini and Shatawale, these are people who have served our music industry in the years. And they deserve a lot of respect. Both of them. As it stands now, they all know which agenda they are pushing. Everybody knows their interest. And like I'm even saying, Samini and Shatawale, I'm not sure they are saying something different. Maybe if they can agree that we all come together to approach it this way, there will not be any back and forth. They are not saying anything different. It is still the same agenda. Let's support Ghana music. Personally, I think on this platform, the reason many Nigerians hate me is the fact that I've also projected more Ghanaian songs over any other person. Let's project Ghana songs. Let's trumpet Ghana songs. And that is the message. Thank you for watching. I'll sure be back uh, to you again on the Showbiz Daily with my people. Stay tuned. I'll join you when I join you. We're out of here.